Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your bonus read. Thank you for your support. Let's see. What does the universe have for you all at this time? If this reading does not resonate, it's not your story. This time, angels, fairy gods, ancestors, what messages do you have for Capricorn, my North No game? Flip and switch to energy, take what resonates only. Anything you need to know about me will be down below. Universe, what do you want Capricorn to know? What's the T for Capricorn? We got the world, closing out cycles, a new beginning. Scorpio energy could be heavy, mostly here, with the butterfly being transformation and Scorpio energy. But the world is symbolic for the pillars, I feel, of the zodiac, or all the four fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. It says karmic completion. Some of you could be learning a lesson, learning your work, travel fulfillment. Some of you are moving forward, moving out, changing a job, starting a business, with achievement after obstacles something could have been hard this could have been a relationship as well you're done with i feel for most of you especially with karmic completion and success we will clarify with a tarot card for capricorn bonus read what's the see well this is someone you're dealing with done with you we got control, yeah, because it could have been some conflict, some control mechanisms. You could have been in a partnership where someone is trying to control you and there was someone else in your life. They didn't want anything to do with that. But yeah, a lot of you are getting out of your own way, overcoming some kind of hostilities. For some of you, that's over with. Conflict, that's over with. Mood swings, you could have been in a situation that had you up and down, feeling unstable. You could have sabotaging tendencies, could have been your own doing that you're overcoming here trust issues manipulation patterns some of you have tendencies of shadow self that need to be worked through okay some of you are getting away from a partnership that it definitely could have been unhealthy for you or this is where you will be where you need to be being done with something that brings you some kind of conflict and is sabotaging your livelihood i'm hearing okay mm, let's see and this could also be the roles could be switched. Some of you could be done with a job that was conflicting or it was a toxic workplace environment. You could be moving, just giving <laughs> giving it to God. Let's see, for Capricorn, multiple scenarios. Okay, now this is a lo about love for a lot of you. Venus, offer romance, love, beauty, creative arts. Wealth, harmony, attraction, and offer. Someone could have a tree in their backyard. It's a very beautiful tree. Uh, doesn't really have to have color to it. It's just like a magnificent structure. Okay, I'm seeing a tree in someone's backyard. Okay, besides that, someone could have tried to do a love spell on someone as well with a lady to a high heel of a man's head here with control and mood swings and manipulation and this love offer. So someone definitely could have tried to do a love spell, could be trying to do a love spell. Someone could be under a love spell that it's over with, with the world. Anytime the world show up, something's changing drastically, like the tower. Okay. Um, some of you have trust issues in love or someone had trust issues pertaining to you. Again, we will see what these cards are specifically. I'm just shooting my shot as far as what's on the table first. Some of you have uh, a lot of um, talent here you need to put out into the universe. You could be afraid to start this business or to put yourself out there or to broadcast or promote yourself. Um, or you could be concerned about what people think or how they will see it. And you're very creative. This will bring love. This will change the world. World to this energy of love and high vibration. You could be a twin flame with that energy. You don't have to be with your twin flame to make a difference. Um, but you will have to encounter your twin flame to learn who you are. But that's a different story. Let's see, for Capricorn. Mm, higher self activation, awakening, and timeline shift. 
some of you as myself could be watching for a Capricorn placement with my Capricorn North Node as well. So I got nurture, compassion, love, sincere feelings, wants to take care of you, protective. This could be you wanting to be there for someone or someone wants to be there for you. Someone's going through an awakening. Let me make that clear. I've said that though in the beginning, but I will clarify. Justice, Libra energy could be a divorce, could be legalities. Uh, the universe could be stepping in to right something that has been wronged in your life. Um, someone taking accountability because they are awakening, uh, doing what's right. Heavy on a divorce is required for some of you. Karmic justice, reap what you sow. Someone could be watching you, studying you, observing you on a lower scale or higher scale. It could be some envy. It could be someone just trying to figure you out, learn your favorites and whatnot. Let me see Four Capricorn bonus. What's the T? We got love at the bottom of the deck. Love is in the air with the Ace of Cups. Could be healing, could be a pregnancy. Could be releasing, purging a whole lot of emotion. Just crying it out. Maybe someone does need to cry. What's on the nurture? Distance, yes. Some of you are distant from someone that you love very dearly. Or you feel a sense of distance. They Y'all could be in the same household. Y'all could speak every day. There's some kind of emotional distance here. Maybe there's a separation or some kind of breakup required or you're currently in it. In, in it. Maybe it ended. Um, when I said in it, uh, some of you may need some space in order to process or this is what happened with your person. What's underneath the Ace of Cups? The Two of Pentacles could be juggling you and another, going back and forth about how they feel, or their emotions could be unstable. Or you, the world for Capricorn. Angel, spirit guides, and benevolent ancestors. The world for Capricorn. The High Priestess, following your intuition, dealing with subconscious matters. Releasing what is repressed, no longer holding back, taking a stand, seven of wands. You could be a mistress, you're done with that, or you're done with having a mistress. You're done sneaking around, you're done hiding your sexuality, whatever this is. Because the high priestess is mystery. Mystery woman, mystery sexuality, suppression, emotions. Um, intuitive for a lot of you, though. You're following your intuition, you're, you're just going with the flow of your higher self, which is here as well. Some of you, you have a purpose with your divine gifts. That resonates with me as a, as a Capricorn North Node, sharing that with you to let y'all know how deep this could be. You could be a high priestess and this is a part of your purpose. The world accomplishing big things. New cycle. Some of you are pregnant with new cycle and the high priestess ruling the moon or the moon ruling the high priestess. The high priestess being in tune with the moon. Shit. Um, that's symbolic for the 28 day moon cycle. Don't want to start teaching tarot right here on the spot, but could be symbolic for a pregnancy as well. Y'all got this in y'all regular read. Shit. Oh Lord. Here we go. Somebody pregnant. Now I got now I gotta think back on y'all regular reading. If you're new to my channel and you just watched me for the first time, Capricorn has a regular read that I just posted yesterday and yeah pregnancy came out mm -hmm. all right let's get another den for the world what else is this about this is about hangman okay and the lovers you are tired of waiting on someone to pick you pick you or you will reach this point i read past present and future some of you have already overcome this you watching this read like oh yeah i didn't did it that's the old me. Some of you are like, yeah, I might have to make a move. I might have to do something different. Oh, I can wait a little longer. Some of you, <laughs> it's going to be a minute. I'm speaking in future. You're going to come back to this real. You're going to remember what I said. Like, damn, she was right. That, that wasn't enough for me. Some of you are in a position of waiting or you were, you were waiting on someone to pick you. Someone doesn't know what to do about this pregnancy. It's like pending. Some of you are very truly enlightened with the hangman searching for introspection, hanging upside down to see it in a new way or from a new perspective. Higher self is here with the high priestess. Some of you are tapped the fuck in. Okay, and it's a part of the things that you will accomplish in this world, period. And some of you need to go within and listen to your higher self. And that's going to be 
quite specific for whoever you are. You know what you should, because you got mind energy here. You could be in your own way. Heavy Pisces with the uh, with the high priestess and the uh, hangman. Seriously, heavy Pisces. Gemini with the lovers, though. I feel like there's a choice between two. Could be a business deal. You could have wanted to go into business with a person that you were with. This could be a friendship as well. The lovers could also be common, like common interests between friends. Y'all are like soulmates or whatever it is. Friends can be soulmates as well. Your best friend. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Control. Capricorn. Bonus. Control is this King of Pentacles. Either he's under someone's control. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, or this could be you if you're a masculine watching. Or this is someone that's married. There could be a boss here that's not all that likable. There could be a reason why you got to move forward. Some of you are in a controlling dynamic with a husband for you feminine energies. Or a baby's father. Keep it 100, baby. Mm. There could be a king of pentacles under someone's control. He said, got a lot of whole, got a lot of money. They're not a lot of money more than I can handle, baby. So someone feels like their money gets them whatever they want or should get them whatever they want. That's controlling and manipulative. So there's a guy here that could be providing for someone, maybe even his mistress, um, but he feels like that keeps someone put for some of you, for some of you. Or this could be someone's child's father that's saying, you know what? I'm not going to do shit unless. Well, damn. That's definitely controlling. Queen of Swords. Yeah, that was a breakup. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Swords. They're no longer together, but this Queen of Swords is not playing with whoever this is. This is their husband or or some kind of ex. She's not going for that shit, but he's trying to control some kind of financial situation between the two of them. They have broken up. Or she's trying to control him with money because she is so independent. Whatever it is, is a disappointment. Someone's out of work. That's why she's trying to run the show or flip it, switch it. There's a guy here trying to run a lady because she wants to be single and she's no longer dealing with him. This is a collective read. It's, it takes a lot out of you to just keep trying to flip it, switch it. I'm going to attempt to do that. But y'all do that as well when it comes to y'all's reading. Somebody trying to run the show when it comes to money. Whether it be someone you're dealing with, their baby's father, or their ex, however it go. <clears throat> or somebody they're currently with that they would like to get away from. So something is hung up. And there's some kind of secrets as to why it's not completely closed out. Something could be pending. Something could be on trial. Okay. We did see the justice. Could be waiting on the courts. Let me get another. What's the control for Cap? I ain't never. Virgo energy with the hermit at the bottom of the deck. So I see what this is, but how do I say it? So two soulmates or twin flames jumped out together. King and queen of cups. But the king of pentacles is already here. So hold on. One scenario is this king of pentacles was with that queen of swords, but he also met his soulmate. Or that queen of swords is done with that baby's father or ex of hers, but she also met her soulmate. So I feel like, you know what? Two soulmates or pending coming together, being together, y'all may exist telepathically just fine. Y'all are together like no other. But he is in another situation or you're in another situation. Herman, someone needs to reflect, go within, deal with whatever this shadow work soul searching there's a guy here that needs to figure out what he wants between two women just period not changing that um there's a woman in the mix that queen of swords could have been the reason why he's confused conflicted or hung up in the balance about making a difference in his life when she's trying to control him 
there could be a masculine here that has a choice between two women. One of these women is a twin flame, and one of them could also be pregnant. You know what? This you know, I'm about to call this man a rolling stone real quick. This king of pentacles could have three different women. One of his women is his ex or current wife that he's not getting along with. Um, hold on, I'm gonna give y'all another scenario. One of these women is a twin. He has a telepathic, truly beautiful connection with. And somebody over here is pregnant. Secretively. That's a curveball. There's a woman with a choice between two men as well. Yeah. 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 There's a woman here, a choice between two men. One of these men is her baby's father that she's not truly done with either. And she met a soulmate. What else is this? There's a guy here that met a woman that wants to do everything in the book for him. That's conflicting for him because he does not have the financial stability to give to her. So that makes him feel like shit. Somebody got to do some soul searching. What's behind this hermit? Judgment. To make a, uh, to make a great decision on whatever this is. Okay. That's about as much as I'm going to give unless my team give me another scenario that needs to come out. Because there's a lot going on there. Two people could be trying to go into business together, but their ex is in the way too. What's... <laughs> shit. Venus. The world again. Child, what? Something needs to be done. Something needs to close out. You know what? This, 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 this right here. This right here. Venus with the world and a ten of cups. Someone's in love. Now, there's a king of swords with the five of swords. So, I'm going to repeat a scenario. When that queen of swords showed up, these people may not even be together emotionally anymore. They're disconnected, but they got stuff together. And if the household is conflicting because there's the five of swords again. So I know I'm on it. The five of swords is here in an oracle card. And there it is in a tarot card. But there's a good illustration for y'all to let y'all know how this household is looking. Whether it looks like that for real or the energy feels like that. Toxic. You know what I think going on here? Somebody is, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and gender roll. The masculine should be leading. But I feel like the woman he with wants to do that. Or it should be some kind of healthy partnership, like this king and queen of cups. They get along just fine. These are soulmates and twin flames. Whoever he with, the, eh, 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 or whoever he was with, eh, 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 or whoever she was with, somebody's ex trying to come back and stir some shit up. And if it ain't quite their ex, it's whoever they was with, headed out the door, decided they want to change some shit. Get their family back together. World, let's be more romantic. Let's start taking dates. Date night. No. Okay, so this king of swords could also be someone's bitter baby's daddy or bitter husband trying to get in the way of someone's emotional uh, fulfillment. Ten of cups. There's a guy here that is homosexual. He's really battling that. Being truthful. He's being manipulative. Five of swords to his emotions. This ten of cups has a rainbow on it. In most dicks. So someone is living a sexuality lie. Yeah, I just made that up. They're not telling the truth about where they stand when it comes to their sexuality. And it don't be the it don't be the conflict. The conflict does not be that they're gay. It be that you're it's that you're not saying it. You're on a DL. Scorpio got that energy. A man on a DL, a masculine on a DL. Okay, well, uh, what's what else is this Venus? Someone needs to close out a cycle so they can truly be happy. Someone wants to come full circle. They would like to try again. They they close out a cycle, and whoever's under a love spell, that's not <laughs> that's no longer a factor. World to the love spell, Venus, a hierophant, Taurus energy. This is. Facts. Ace of Swords. This is going to lead to a long-term 
new happy-go-lucky fired up passionate knight of pentacles to the page of wands commitment and healing with the star these motherfuckers is chosen because somebody keeps trying to do a love spell that's getting ready to be a breakup or a separation for some of you this is y'all's future i feel it the hyphen is a big fucking deal okay Something is coming full circle. This is a major spiritual less, spiritual lesson learned. There's the end of a marriage. There's the end of a cycle. Whether it be a situation ship, court battles, spiritual warfare, a love spell that had someone under a marriage, that's ending. Someone's going to come full circle and wake the fuck up to where they belong, what they would like, how they would like it, and who they would like to have it with. When it comes to love and when it comes to someone's traditional mindset, that's changing. Someone could have had the traditional hierophant upbringing, raised to be a certain way. That's changing. World. New cycle. That's what the world means. That's what y'all got with the hierophant under that love. New cycle. Learning something. When it comes to your status, quo, ideas, thoughts, perspectives, and, <laughs> and process of going about life. That's changing. Who you want to be with, the type of person you want to be with. Your taste in women, your taste in men. That's changing. Someone has learned a major lesson. They have stepped into this energy to teach what they've already learned. Wise counsel. Some of you could be going into a situation where you're starting a business with a lover. There's a spiritual connection coming together. Oh, shit. Spirits say you're missing something. These are divine counterparts. The high priestess is everything spiritual. The hierophant is everything faith-based. But you know what? These are two high-ranking spiritual individuals on a table at the same motherfucking time. They're learning a lesson. You're learning a lesson. These motherfuckers have awakened. Who lying? Who lying? Awakening. When two twin flames, two divine counterparts awaken, there is nothing that can be done about these two people coming together. So you know what's happening? Somebody over there has hung up. Hang me. For now. But when they wake up, this is over with world new cycle so wherever you fit in this story get ready for the up it up seriously i feel it i can feel it up. i feel this this feels good <laughs> i don't care what's happening you know what? I don't give a damn what's happening right now or where your, where your story or situation is right now. I can see this higher fit in this world in a breakthrough, in a realization, in an epiphany, in a wake-up call, which is this ace of swords, higher self. What's this? Six of wands flipped over. Leo energy, success, triumph, victory, public recognition, fame, praise. Promotion? Hi yourself. Hi yourself. Somebody been going back and forth, but they're going to wake up. Two of Pentacles, Capricorns, you could be your ass. Ten of Wands, burdens. You know what? I see this. You or someone you're dealing with is going to have to realize this has been wishy-washy. This has been back and forth. This has made me feel unstable. This makes me feel weighed down. This makes me feel burdened. They just got to listen. Hi, priestess. In order to close that cycle gotta listen to what your higher self is telling you you're not happy here or this is what they're going through their higher self is telling them it's time for a change and only then will all of that come together what else is their higher self saying to them sagittarius with the ten of wands that you need to take a stand and stand for something and fight for what you believe in or fight for the person you want and fight in court and stand on your motherfucking square. You can succeed in any battle you are going up against because you are divinely heavenly protected. There are six wands down there. Let's not forget. We saw the six of wands and now go to, there go the eight of wands. 
taking a stand to stand for what's yours everything that you've earned six of wands is accolades praise and recognition rewards fight for it if you in a situation where you know something belongs to you spiritually or legally fight for it if you know you in a situation where someone's trying to run you control you keep you stuck fight for it if you're in a situation where you're lacking boundaries because you got someone running all over you running in and up and out of your life fight for yourself take a stand for yourself stand on your motherfucking square and have boundaries about that because that's when they're gonna realize well i can't keep doing that i can't keep coming and going if i want change if i want things to progress i gotta make change period this is about standing on business by listening to your higher self. Or this is what your person must do when someone's trying to run them. Nurture. Some of you need a divorce attorney because somebody got you fucked up. Or a better one. What's nurture? Woo, three of cups sideways. You can't get too much nurture out of a third party. Woo, cancer energy. <laughs> Make a decisive. <laughs> Make a change. Be decisive about what the fuck you want. Be assertive too. Tell this person inquire where is this going what do you want what's next what can i how can i help you get to where you need to be be clear be direct three of cups sideways is a third party it's hanging in limbo it's like you almost done or they're almost done with you cancer energy if i did not say three of cups sideways is a fake friend too can't be trusted there's a partner that comes in and out of your life that lacks affection Someone's cheating because they're not happy at home. Who got this? Aquarius. Over there. Five of swords. Nurture. Queen of wands. Mm. How does this queen of... This is one half of a twin. A very sexy, seductive, uh, maybe, maybe even a socialite type of woman. Could even be a mistress. How does she show up in this reading? Someone could be intimidated by this individual because she got a lot of suitors. How does this queen of wands show up in this reading? As far as someone wants to nurture and take care of them. Or is this a third party trying to get in the mix on purpose? How does this queen of wands show up? Six of wands sideways. What else? Something's in limbo. Queen of wands. What's her role? Five of Cups. Learn a fucking lesson. Disappointments. Eight of Pentacles. Last one. Eight of Wands. In the moon. Hmm. Things are not going anywhere. She's disappointed. So this Queen of Wands is learning a lesson. Nurture wants to take care of you. Let me get a card from this deck for this Queen of Wands. Too many people. Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, High Priestess. What the fuck? High. Somebody got a major business. Who is this Queen of Wands? South Node, stuck energy. I knew it. Renewal, sacral chakra. She's giving her sexual energy away. Either this Queen of Wands is trying to keep someone stuck or this Queen of Wands has gotten stuck. Or someone's trying to keep this Queen of Wands stuck because she's fine. And he don't want to let her go. How did this go? South Node. How did this go? The Queen of Wands has found herself stuck. She needs to free herself. Someone's trying to keep the Queen of Wands stuck because they can't let her go. Or someone, yeah. Or this Queen of Wands trying to keep somebody stuck. However it go. Resistance, fear of the new, clinging to all ways of situations. Let me read it like this. Because something is repressed. Yeah, heavy. Depression, rejection, unworthiness, not knowing your worth is the issue. That's how we got here. Not really. Oh, this is how your person got here with you. So either you or your person are in a situation or a dynamic that they must free themselves from fully in order to be successful six of wands in a upright, in order to celebrate three of cups in a upright, in order for this third party to be recognized that you deserve love, you deserve sincere feelings, you deserve compassion, you deserve affection, you deserve everything your heart's desire. 
which is a mutual agreement on where this connection is going for the long term you could be in a marriage hyphen is a marriage a long-term commitment you need to free yourself because you're simply not happy period especially if you're cross-watching i'm not telling people to get a divorce i'm telling people to get a divorce because they're not happy if you're happy cool stop cheating but you wouldn't be cheating if you was happy so if you're in a situation where you're waiting on someone to pick you, your lesson in this all, all of this is listen to yourself. If you know you're not fulfilled, if you know you're at home at night by yourself, if you know you're in a situation where you're yearning, seeking, and wanting more from this connection, if you know it's not enough, then listen to yourself. Only then will it change. They go, oh, shit, I, I, I lost my mister. I lost my person. I lost my mistress. My mistress was my peace. Now you stuck with the person you didn't want to be with, however this go. Or they're stuck with you because you can't make a decision. Oh, you're stuck with somebody because you can't make a decision on a person you would rather be with, but you lost one because they're tired of playing with you. However it go. Flip it, switch it. This y'all read. Until next time. Peace.